Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Now, speaking of Winnipeg, you might have heard uh, my neighbor when he was at the door yesterday saying that it was supposed to be a cold week. And it is, except for today. Today is supposed to go up to plus six Celsius. <laughs> so uh, hopefully I'll be able to do the rest of that route going east on my e-bike later this afternoon, which means I'm going to want to get wound up a little bit, a little bit ahead of time because I'd like to, I'd like to go out before I have a coffee visitor. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I get a coffee visitor. Had a coffee visitor yesterday too. My son came over in the afternoon. He quite often comes over on on Sunday afternoon, and uh, yeah, it's kind of nice. I enjoy that. I appreciate that. And uh, we reminisced a little bit. Too. We talked about Star Trek and when we used to watch uh, the Star Trek episodes together. And um, you know, uh, with, with uh, Next Generation, I think Next Generation was my favorite. Then, then my next most favorite would have been Deep Space Nine. And after that, they just sort of died. I, I haven't seen any of the new series that's come out, like uh, uh, the, uh, uh, Star Trek Picard. I haven't seen, just seen the trailers on that. Uh, we can't get it here in Canada without subscribing, and I don't know. I, I like to make movies. I don't like to watch movies. <laughs> well, that's not true. Anyway, yeah, it was kind of kind of neat. We we sat in front of the computer and we watched the trailer of that one one episode where uh, where most of the crew from uh, of of the Enterprise from Next Generation, uh, you know, we're we're going to be doing something. I don't know what they're going to be doing, saving the world again, I guess. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I used to be uh, pretty into that. You know, you you could pretty much call me a Trekkie. <laughs> uh, you know, not not as much uh, a Trekkie as Aussie Trekkie, who actually sometimes wears a Star Trek uh, uniform. But uh, uh, oh, speaking of Aussie Trekkie, he's he's back up again, Scott, and he uh, he uh, is working on a, a model of one of the Enterprise models, and I could it could be a model that I had but never finished. Uh, I can't remember if it was a, a model that I got from my son as a gift or he got it for me as a gift, but it, that, that it, for some reason that particular model never got finished. However, we got four, we got four models over there that are finished and hopefully we're going to have a fifth one and maybe the Yamato. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. Okay, I realized that I have made a mistake here. Uh, and that when I glued these uh, little handles on, uh, yeah, <laughs> I had, if you remember I was talking about I was going to use CA glue to glue them on and because it breaks loose, well I forgot and I went and used the, uh, the extra thin so <laughs> they're not going to break loose too easily. But at least we got handles on everything now. I just got to point, make the ends pointy so that they'll stick in the holes in my sponge. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'll be painting those by hand, all being well. Uh, I know yesterday morning I started off saying something about we're going to spray today and we're going to use it, you know, in the back room. And uh, then it, that just sort of died. So I don't know, if, I'm not going to say we're going to spray today. Uh, but we are going to paint these little parts. Um, what else is there we're going to say here? Oh, look at our sunrise. Now that's unusual. What an unusual color. Sort of a purple. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully I will have remembered to have uh, put an enlargement up here. <laughs> I do all that kind of stuff later on. Sometimes two, three hours later. Uh, sometimes at the end of the episode, I, I, like just before I uh, upload it to YouTube, I think, oh yeah, the sunrise, and I'll stick a little bit in. Usually it works out, and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, okay, uh, let's let's get going here. Uh, we get the get our little uh, uh, parts off, and uh, okay. 
Let's get at it. I think what I'm going to do is uh, order another order another uh, set of these self-locking tweezers. I only have six of them, and uh, what I was doing is I was making uh, making up a sort of self-locking tweezer because I needed a lot more than six yesterday. So uh, I was I was actually online yesterday and. Uh, on Amazon, and it seems to me that the, this cheap set, it wasn't that expensive, so I should order another set, and it would be a lot handier. Um, I, I also wanted to show you what I was talking about uh, when I mentioned sharpen the ends, and uh, I guess I can just do one now quickly, and then I can continue on here off camera. So, uh, okay. Maybe I will use Rumpel's cutters. Okay, we'll just just make it a little middle, a little bit at, at an angle. Well, this this one already is. I must I must have done this one before. So we just you know just sharpen it a little bit here. Oh my goodness, where did that go? Okay, I I don't think I actually improved on it, but the idea is that then I can get it to poke into the hole so that after I'm done painting the part. It'll, it'll, I can poke it down. I gotta get rid of this little thing here on the side here. It doesn't want to go in. Anyway, yeah, uh, when I was talking about using the wrong glue here, my, my fear is, now on this particular one it wouldn't matter, but when I twist this back and forth to break it out, on this thin plastic here, it's, it's, it's possible to actually pull it and actually have a little hole there. So, uh, I'll have to be careful. Maybe what I can do is I can, I can take Rumpel's cutter, and and just just cut it off, you know, because this 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 part is going to be hidden anyway. So, it seems to me we had a conversation very similar to this a little while ago. Okay, I'm just going to continue on here now and uh, get the rest of these ready to paint with a brush. Um, yes, I know that spraying would be better. Now these these ones here. Uh, you know, people were talking about using, uh, I think, uh, 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 Jeff, Jeff Donahue was saying that what, what he does is he will, he will, uh, use double-sided tape. Well, I use double-sided tape as well to hold something like this, but that's only when I'm spraying. I'm not going to be spraying these. I'm going to be trying to brush them. Now, wait a minute. This, this looks like there's some sort of flashing going on in there. I better take a close look at that. Unless it's supposed to, supposed to be like no, it's not supposed to be like that. There's there's definitely flashing going on there. That's not good. So I got to clean that piece up. I thought I I thought I was uh, all ready to go with that, but uh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's continue on here. Okay, if there's one thing I've got lots of, it's scrap wood. So here's what happened. I started to pointy these these uh sprues and they just did not want to nip right they always left jagged edges uh you know that they, they sort of dug in when i tried to poke it in the hole um no uh, i had uh, down in my workshop i've got one of those old-fashioned uh pencil sharpeners with the i guess you'd call the helical cutters you know and uh, i thought that might work you know, to sharpen them. But then I thought, you know, why don't I just make something up here? And uh, got my drill press here at the uh, at the uh, model table. It's just right behind me. And so it's really handy to be... I'm really glad I got this, by the way. This little drill press, it it's, comes in handy. And they're not expensive. Anyway, the idea will be here to try and get this adjusted so that the hole will almost go all the way through, but not quite. So uh, I'm just going to see if I can't adjust this now. So that it'll be like this. 
Okay, now let's see if I can not if I can not move this this table and lock it in place here. All right, that should still work. Yeah, that should bring the bit down almost all the way to the bottom. At least that's the plan. Now, I just know somebody's going to type in. Don't you know that there's an adjustment here for that? You know, that this thing is a bloody nuisance. It, it really is. That doing it my way is way faster. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and drill the holes. You've seen me drill holes before. Well, you want to see me drill one hole, right? Okay. This bit looks like it's bent. I did get it in the chuck right, didn't I? I wonder if I... I may have bent that bit. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, in all likelihood, I'd most likely be using Tony's tweezers. Yeah, I think this is going to work okay. I should be able to get a lot of pieces in here. There's, a, there's enough holes that I should be able to, you know, find a, a hole that's going to be appropriate. If I'm careful, I won't be, uh, you know, marking up what I just painted. Now, what I'm going to have to do is see if I can't come up with a system here for, uh, uh, let's see, it's one like this, I'd probably do better to, you know, just get the burr off the end of it. It'd go in a lot easier. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to come up with something that uh, uh, I can use to, uh, like, like I know I'd use I'd use the double-sided tape. We, we were looking at this little tiny piece here yesterday, and how would I mount something like that? Now I I, I do believe that it's got a little a little hole. I don't want to lose it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, you you can see it there if I if I hold it just right that there there is a little hole. I'm gonna lose that thing yet. And I could probably stick stick the uh, end sharpen a toothpick and stick it on the end of a toothpick. Now this is this is just for brush painting. If I was spraying, I'd use double sided tape, or not necessarily double sided tape, but I'd use upturned masking tape. And then we've got this little piece of photo etch here that has to go on the end of the pipe. I mean, that thing's so small, you can hardly see it. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I should have made this five years ago when I was uh, doing the Bismarck. It would have been a lot handier. Okay, well, let's carry on. Okay, this end looks pretty pointy already. I don't think I need to sharpen it. Now please don't go pinging off into the carpet because you will be gone. I think this will... No, this won't, this won't lay the way I need it to lay, but I think we'll figure something out here. Um, 
Okay, now the idea is I want to be able to poke this in there, but I th don't think it's going to want to stay. So the plan is take a little bit of uh, white glue here and uh, might say moisten the tip of the of the cocktail stick. I call something like this a toothpick, but I notice that most people call them cocktail sticks. Yeah, and I, I know why, because, you know, these are the sort of things that you use to, you know, poke into the olives or the mini wieners or whatever you happen to be, you know. <laughs> well, I guess mini wieners and martinis don't go together, but... Uh, all right. Uh, let's, let's just uh, recompose here. Let's, uh, and take a nice close look. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> she licked the lens. You licked the lens. <laughs> well, it's clean now. Yeah. She gets that funny smile with you when she shows her lower teeth. Okay, we've got a broken one here, Missy. Now stick around. Don't go running off. you got two pieces going on there. <laughs> the, the broken one threw her for a loop. Missy, Missy, come here. Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's hard carrying two in your mouth like that. It's supposed to be warm today, but boy, I don't know. Right now, I think it's still about minus six. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a long way from plus eight. Yeah. But if it goes to plus eight, it'll be good by biking weather. I'll be out. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. We'll see ya. Okay, now where were we here? I think I was just about ready to put my macro lens on, wasn't I? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I was just about ready to stick the macro lens on. I think I went like this. <laughs> now, it's a good thing that GoPros are waterproof. Anyway, all right. Now, we only need the tiniest amount here. That's way more than I need by a long shot. Okay, now the idea is, I just want to moisten the toothpick. I'm just doing a bit of a dry run here. Sorry about my grubby fingers. Just stick it on the end there. It almost wants to stay, but I think that the, the brushing would probably knock it off. So we'll just glue it on here. Could have maybe done a better job of sanding that. Oh, this is so small. I don't even know where this goes. Okay, let's get it the right way around here. Okay, now we're going to moisten the end of the toothpick. Just sort of stick it in there. Maybe I'll just turn the toothpick around a little bit. Try and get the glue evenly all around the base. Because I'm pretty sure the part that where the hole is is going to be up against something and we're, we're not going to be seeing. Okay, now that, if I quit poking at it and put it in one of my new uh, holes that I just drilled. Okay. All right, I, I think that's going to work. Okay, so we've got that one. But then we've got a, a lot of other little pieces that... Uh, Got to figure out what we're going to do with. I think I got it fairly straight. Yeah, that'll work. A few moments ago, I was outside fetching in the garbage cans. Today is garbage day. Every Monday is garbage day. And uh, I was noticing it was pretty cold. And when I came in, I looked at the thermometer, and it is still uh, minus. What do we got here? minus 5.2 Celsius 
It's supposed to go to plus 8 today. And it's already after 9 in the morning. I would have thought that it would have started to uh, to have warmed up. But, uh, okay, I might want to reuse this. So we'll just clean this out just a little bit here. At least that's the plan. Yeah. I wonder what would dissolve that. Probably just water. Maybe Windex. Okay, we are up to minus 3.8 right now. At least that's what it was last time I looked. Alrighty. Uh, this little piece of plumbing pipe here. Um... Alright, I want to get it so that I can place that little, which, which I have realized later is actually a, a wheel, like for like a, a for turning the valve. Um, So, so this little wheel goes on the end of this plum piece of plumbing. And I had thought that, before I realized what it was, I had thought that it was a, uh, it had to be molded around the end of it, but obviously it isn't. I'm just gonna have to recompose here. I don't know if the waxed pencil is gonna, is gonna work to drop this in place because it is so small, it doesn't wanna let go. I might have to, uh, use a pair of very, very pointy tweezers. Isn't that small? Honestly. Why am I going to all this trouble? We're probably not even going to see this piece. But it's kind of fun, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to put it down right here. Okay, now don't let me forget, it's right there. Don't vacuum it up. Okay, these two components. This part and our little wheel are exactly where you saw me drop them. I haven't moved them. I have moved everything else. Got it out of the way. Got the macro lens on, obviously. Now I can use tweezers like this and try and pick it up and drop it down. Or I can use these tweezers that I sanded the, the one blade down to make it a little bit more pointy. And my thinking is that if I was to pick it up, I can't get a hold of it. There we go. Now, just let me steady myself here. Okay, yeah, something like that might work. I'm going to recompose. I think what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of CA, probably, don't, don't think it matters which one I use. Yeah, I, I don't think I better use the CA quick setting, because it might go and set on me before I get this on here. So I'll just use the, the CA thin, put just a little bit on there. Now my, my, my other thought was, well, I said I was going to recompose, didn't I? Okay, why don't I do that? Okay, my clock just gonged 10 a.m. And it is uh, up to two, minus 2.8 right now. So it's come up a, a degree. Now, do you remember I was mentioning that these these tubes... Well, I'll put it back on, don't worry. These tubes were... Uh, if you stretch them out, you can make them smaller. So what I've done is I've, I've stretched it out. And I'm just going to cut it off here now. It, 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 it seems to uh, have flattened it out. I don't know if anything's going to come out the end or not. I stretched it out a lot more than I usually do. So, okay. So it, it could be that no CA glue is going to come out the end of that. I don't know. Okay, now we were going to have to take that, that uh, piece of photo etch off anyway. 
I know you can't see it, it's, it just dropped down just right, under, right underneath here. Okay, we'll get it. Now, <clears throat> we're going to want to put just the smallest amount of CA right on there. At least that's the plan. Then we're going to try and pick this up and drop it onto the drop without getting the drop on the tweezers. Maybe, maybe I'd be better off using the flat tweezer. Would that, can I grab hold of it or is it going to, no, it's not going to work either. I'll, I'll just use the ones I was using before, just do the best I can. Okay, now I'm going to have to put this nozzle <laughs> onto the CA bottle. Okay, this is the CA thin. Not the not the thin quick setting. appears to be basically centered. Maybe it could go just a little bit closer to you. Oops. Okay, let me check the monitor. I think it could go a little bit to the right. You know what? I'm just going to leave it the way it is. After we've painted it, uh, I'll probably paint, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the entire part. Uh, then I'll uh, highlight the the wheel in red. Yeah, but we're not gonna see it anyway Okay, it is off slightly But it is only off on one axis. It's it's uh, axis. It's only uh, what you might call a little bit high It's not like it was high and to the left or to the right or something like that So I think it's gonna be all right. I think if I'm very careful here uh, we should be able to get it painted, and uh, at least that's the plan. I'm going out. Uh, yeah, I know at the beginning of the episode I said uh, <clears throat> we'll, we'll, we'll paint these for sure, or something to that effect. And then it seems to me I remember dubbing in underneath, nope, we, we did other stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, all right, we are up to minus 0.7 degrees. I think by the time I get the final edit done and check out the sunrise and, you know, put that into time lapse maybe, maybe it'll be above freezing and at least I don't need to worry about frostbite. It'll be cold, but at least, at least I know I'm not freezing to death. <laughs> so, uh, now, before I go, remind me to take the lens cap off, okay? <laughs> now, so far I haven't done that, but it would be easy to do because if you put the helmet on with the camera attached, and you reach around and you push the, the button, and it goes beep, 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 yeah, it's taking a picture of nothing. <laughs> anyway, that's, uh, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens, right? Uh, and I'm... The plan is I'm going to do the same route as yesterday. The only difference is I'll come back a different way. All being well, weather permitting, roads permitting, I'll be coming back in a direction that uh, you've never been before. In fact, I'll be going right past my, my son's house. But I think he likes anonymity, so I won't be saying, hey, there's where my son lives. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'll be a different route. Okay. Thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.